All right, let's start by importing the packages we'll need for this exercise. As usual, we'll import NumPy as NP and TensorFlow as TF. We'll use TensorFlow's data provider for MNIST. In order to use it properly, we must also import the TensorFlow datasets module as TFDS for short. Okay, let's proceed to acquiring our data and storing it in the variable MNIST dataset. To load the data, we should write TFDS load and the name of the dataset we want to load. That also happens to be the only required argument, which, in our case, is MNIST. Fortunately, TensorFlow datasets has a large number of datasets ready for modeling. With this operation, we can download the dataset in the default path directory. For instance, on a Windows system with the usual default path, you will find it in C, Users, Your Username, TensorFlow datasets. Or, if you're a Linux user, you'll find it in your home directory, tilde slash TensorFlow datasets. Anyhow, the first time you execute TFDS, load, a dataset will be downloaded on your computer. Therefore, each consecutive time you run the code, it will automatically load this local copy on your computer. Okay, there are two tweaks we'd rather make. First, we can set the argument, as supervised, to true. This will load the dataset in a two-tuple structure, input and target. In addition, let's include one final argument, with info equal to true, and store it in the variable MNIST info. This will provide us with a tuple containing information about the version, features, and number of samples of the dataset. Okay, great. We have successfully loaded the dataset. Now we can either execute this line of code or continue our pre-processing in the same cell. It's up to you. You should know that the first time it will take a bit longer to execute since you'll be actually downloading the dataset. That's why I suggest you run the cell. In our next lecture, we'll do a bit of data pre-processing. Thanks for watching.